The kettlebell swing is one of the most powerful kettlebell exercises that you can do. However, it requires a lot of skill. And that is the reason why many people make a lot of mistakes with this exercise. So in this video, I'm gonna show you 10 of the worst swing mistakes that you can make. And I'm also gonna show you how to correct them. But before we get started, we help busy over 40s get in shape with only 30 minutes of kettlebell training per week in the next 30 days. If you wanna find out more about our method, check the first link in the description and download our free ebook called The Kettlebell Code. Grüezi miteinander, Gregory von Lebestag hier. The inspiration for this video was another YouTube video that I stumbled upon. In this video, they are talking about the benefits of the kettlebell swing. However, the B-roll in the video of these folks who are performing the kettlebell swing is so egregiously bad that you can even read it in the comments. While I was sifting through the video, I found 10 mistakes that especially beginners do when they pick up a kettlebell for a swing. So without further ado, let's check out the first mistake, glute amnesia. The guy in the video does not fully extend the hips, which means he doesn't really contract and use his glutes. So instead of using the full force from his hips, he stops. And at the top of the swing, the hips are still a little bit bent. Three steps to correct this. First of all, learn the hinge. Push the hips back, upper body leans forward, spine is straight, stand up, and then lock the knees and squeeze the glutes. Step number two, a hang deadlift. Hinge, grab the kettlebell between your legs, stand up, and now you drop it down, keep it between your legs, don't let it touch the floor, and as you stand up, I'm squeezing my glutes by imagining I wanna push my hips into the handle of the kettlebell. And finally, we sprinkle a little bit of explosiveness on top of momentum, and we got ourselves the kettlebell swing. Mistake number two, launch failure. If you start with the kettlebell standing between your legs like it would in a deadlift, you are starting the wrong way. Correct it by taking a step back, hinging, leaning over to the kettlebell, pull it towards me so that the base is off the floor, and then I can start with momentum, not wasting the first rep. Mistake number three, arm dominance. Us human beings, we are handsy creatures. So we are used to moving stuff with our hands and with our arms by extension. With the kettlebell swing, this all changes. The hips lead and the arms only heave. Here's how we can correct this. By letting gravity do its thing once the kettlebell drops, by letting the arm loose. Mistake number four, the squat swing. Now the kettlebell swing is rather a hinge movement where the upper body is leaning forward, hip is pushing back, knees are unlocking. This is what we've talked about a couple of seconds earlier rather than a squat movement. And this is what it looks like. As you can see, I'm not bending the knees, but I'm focusing on pushing the hips back. Now granted, when you are using heavier weights, your knees might bend a little bit because you need more assistance from your legs because the weight of the kettlebell is pulling towards the floor. And then the swing maybe turns into rather a deadlift style of swing, which is totally fine. However, this is for advanced folks who know what they're doing. If you're getting started, focus on learning the hinge and swing like this. Mistake number five, no hinge at all. Now this gentleman makes a lot of mistakes at the same time. And the woman, she has a crisp hinge. So let's revisit the hinge to understand how important it really is. If you're still having trouble with the hinge, grab a stick, hold it behind your back like this so that the hip, the upper back, and the back of your skull make contact with the stick. And now throughout the whole movement, you don't wanna lose contact with any of these points. And imagine, as I go down into the hinge, I'm getting ready for a jump. And now if you lose any contact with the stick, you have to adjust. Mistake number six, the extension trap. When you swing the kettlebell, 
and you extend your arms too much out in front of you, your whole body weight shifts towards your toes and then you're off balance because you're outside your center of mass. Correct this by squeezing the glutes, not extending the arms too much out of you in front, but keep the, keeping the arms a little bit loose. Mistake number seven, baby weight. This ties in into mistake number three, arm dominance. If the weight is too light, you can use your arms to move it. I'm not saying that you should immediately start with a 20 kg or a 32 kg. What I'm saying is understand that you need at least enough resistance that your body understands what muscles have to be activated. Mistake number eight, the bell flop. This ties in into understanding a solid hinge. If you don't give the kettlebell enough room by pushing the hips back, the kettlebell will always flop back and forth here. So correct this by mastering the hinge and giving the kettlebell enough space as it moves backward. Another power tip is understanding that you have to pull your arm close to your body, engaging your back muscles as you move into the backswing. Mistake number nine, the back fallacy. Additionally, always perform kettlebell swings with proper form, which includes keeping your back straight. Keeping the back straight is not a back recommendation, but you have to understand two different things, a straight back and a straight spine. You can lean forward where the back is now in a horizontal plane and I can still keep my spine straight. If you think that you always have to keep your back straight while you're swinging, then it might look like this. This puts a lot of pressure and unnecessary strain on your lower back. So you wanna keep your spine straight while the back is moving into that horizontal plane. Mistake number 10, no, this is not a snatch. For a more explosive and intense workout, consider trying the kettlebell snatch. The exercise shown right here is the American swing, an exercise that I'm not really fond of. A snatch is this. Bonus mistake, bad timing. If something heavy falls between our legs, we instinctively pull the hips back before it can make contact. Now we have to override this instinct in order to master the swing. So as you propel the kettlebell upwards and you wait for gravity to set in and the kettlebell drops, you wait for your arms to reconnect with your body until that moment you stand up straight and as you feel that reconnection, you move into the backswing. Here's the next thing that you have to do. Clean the press that like and subscribe button. Share with a friend who's also interested in kettlebells. And if you made it this far, download our free ebook called The Kettlebell Code. Listen, if you're over 40, you don't have a lot of time. Matter of fact, despite being short on time, we can help people get in shape because it doesn't require a lot of time if you have a solid kettlebell at home and you know exactly what to do with it. And I'm gonna reveal that information to you in that free ebook in the first link in the description.